Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGM007 and today we're looking at the volleyball minigame plugin. So this is a fantastic plugin which allows you to play volleyball in Minecraft. So I've built ourselves a court here so you can obviously customize this, make it how big you want, just whatever you want it to look like. And if we do forward slash VB, that's going to show us all of the commands. So first of all, we need to create a new court by doing forward slash VB add court and then call it something. Let's call it server minor. Once we've done that, we need to set the blue and the red section. So we need world edit for this. So grab your wand and then select the bottom left hand corner and then select the top right hand corner. So this is the blue section. And once we've done that, we can do forward slash VB set space blue and then obviously server minor the court name. And there we go. So now we need to repeat the same thing for the red side. So select the top left hand corner and the bottom right hand corner of the red area and then do forward slash VB set red and then obviously the court name server minor. And that is our two sections complete for um, our map or court. So then we can do forward slash VB set display name and we can make it look a bit nicer. We could change the name if we wanted to, uh, but obviously you don't have to do that really. Then if we do forward slash VB set ball size and then server minor, we can change the size of the ball, which is a slime. So the default is three, but obviously you can make it smaller or bigger to your liking. So then we can go ahead and do forward slash VB set power. So you can change the amount of power that goes into the hits for hitting the volleyball. The default is one, of course, but you can make it obviously more or less powerful. Um, so you changing the multiplier. And then we can do forward slash VB list courts and that will list all of the volleyball courts we've created. So we've only made one. And now that we've done that, we can go ahead and play. So all you need to do to join is walk onto the court. The scoreboard will appear. And then if I get my other account to walk on his side, he is going to join the blue team. So we're on the red team over here. A ball should spawn any second now, and then the game will start. So there is the ball. So it is a slime. You can use a resource pack in order to make it look more like a um, volleyball. But if you run and hit it, we can hit it to the other side and obviously we'll score a point for that because he didn't hit it back. This is going to be really difficult for me to demonstrate because I've only got one pair of hands and going from one computer to another in order to play against myself is not the easiest thing. So um, obviously in real volleyball you want to hit it back and you don't want it to land in your court, but it is quite difficult for me. Uh, so if you don't hit it hard enough and it bounces in your court, they will get a point. So as you can see, my other account gave it a pathetic hit and it didn't go over the net, so we got a point for that. So in order to hit it properly, you need to run up and give it a massive hit and then you should get it into the other person's court. So this is how it looks like. There's tons of particle effects. It looks really cool. Uh, the ball has cool physics. It works really well and it's just a fantastic plugin overall which you'd have a lot of fun with in your server so that is pretty much everything in the plugin there isn't much in the config file so we won't bother looking in there but this is the spigot page as you can see there was an update very recently on tuesday it's working for the latest version of minecraft and the spigot page has got loads of useful information that you can use to set up the plugin if you need any help obviously contact the developer but overall, this is an absolutely fantastic plugin that is a lot of fun to play. So if you want to download it, come over to the Spigot page. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.